Hey there, I'm Nev, I'm a dev, and I'm very excited to film this video because today we are gonna move um, one of my projects from the old Drizzle syntax to the new Drizzle syntax. We're first gonna fetch a few changes, but yeah, let's actually go ahead and check out like what is actually new. And they already have this like subroute or qbv2.drizzle or um, fe.pages.dev. So um, what we have here is basically um, what is new API changes, what is working differently from v1. In the past, we had to go ahead and like declare our relations like in here. So export counts user relations and stuff like declare a relation per table. But now we actually can create a, a relations or, or I, would, I should say all of our relations just from our schema. And then it is already type safe and we can create all of these relations, which is um, very clean in my opinion. Declare, define many without one in V1. If you wanted uh, only the many side of relationship, you had to specify the one on the other hand, uh, which made a poor developer experience. In V2, you can simply use the many uh, without any additional steps. Okay, so users has many posts, um, but the post does not be need to be a one relationship um, to the user, if that makes sense. Like we had to do here, like many posts, and here we just have one. Okay, new optional option. Okay, what does this mean? Um, at the level, at the top level, makes the other key in the post object required. This should be used when you are certain that this specific entity will always exist. Okay, I see. So for example, a post always has an author, so this is not optional. Okay, but this is cool. Uh, now it's not only the fields and references, and I'm not gonna lie, every time I declared the relation with Drizzle, I had to like look this up, um, on what fields and what um, references is. Now we just have this author from to um, our the post of the user ID and stuff. So yeah, what is the difference here? There are a few new functions that were added to custom types, so you can now control how data is mapped in on relational queries. Okay, don't understand this. Many to many relations. Previously, you would need to query through a junction table, um, then map it out for every response. But no junction tables anymore. User relations, group relations, user to group relations. That's crazy. That you don't. Okay. And here you just have many groups and many back. Okay, no junction tables anymore. Predefined filters, yeah, like verified users, specifying like verified, okay, yeah. The thing that is like very nice now is that instead of using all of this overhead, you now can just do this. The same with order by, the same, oh, you can now filter, okay. And using opt, yeah. Like if you would do like the width thing, many things you can like, like offset and limit, you could not do Okay, how to migrate relations schema definition from v1 to v2. Okay, yeah, I mean, I made this already in, my, in another code base, but let's go ahead and create a new branch. Um, let's call it R2, RQB v2. Um, we're now in this branch, and now we should go into the DB folder and into the schema. Nope, we don't want to open that. Um, we should change this now. Oh, yeah, first of all, of course, we need to update our stuff um so p install uh drizzle uh or m at beta which will install the latest beta and also p install and uh, dash d drizzle kit at beta yeah let's have p diff that their the types are actually generating okay restart the ds server everything is well now i guess yeah it is so first of all, yeah, first of all, we need to go ahead and put our, yeah, we're still in the schema, but now we can also do const relations is um, define relations. And then we put in the schema in here. And then it's just an object, I think. Define relations schema R, okay, R. And then this thing here. And down here, we can just pass in the relations. Um, and the schema is of course automatically also parsed uh, or passed down here. So now we should have, or we should not have. Okay, so let's let's begin with like declaring some relations. I think we don't have any relations in here, and why is it so poorly formatted? No, we don't have any relations in here, but we have a relation here. So 
we have an event relation which is uh, at the events table so let's go to the one and then to event okay actually we may be need to pull out all of these things um from our relations and this one here and in here also the relations and the collaborators as well and the verification code not okay may it now work r dot i mean this should be the exact same what did i just do differently Wait, how? Okay, we have defined relations. We pass in the schema. R, um. Okay, okay, I'm not like questioning it at all. Okay, so uh, events table. And in the events table, we have a creator. So we are getting this creator thing. And this is R. No, not like this. Whoops. R dot one dot users. And in here we have from and then event table dot uh no R dot event table dot user ID we have mm, a two r dot users dot ID good we have creator set up and now we're just gonna set up the project so project is um I did again R dot projects table and R dot no R dot mm, one dot project table like this okay um, from project R dot projects table dot no R dot events table dot project ID to R dot project table dot ID Good, so we got this ticked off. So now we're just gonna do the projects table, um, which should be, wow, this is wrong. It should be users, um, one user. So basically admin, I guess. Um, okay, so admin or let's do creator. Once again, r.1.user. Um, which is from r dot projects table dot user id is to r dot users dot id and oh yeah maybe this should be optional it's true I think it's true by default but I want to specify this um explicitly here um collaborators um we're just gonna do this uh, so collaborators uh, will be r dot many dot users and how do we create many to many many to many here oh okay so we still need this table so we have groups Okay, so we just have r.many.users in here. And in the users table, we have... Yeah, let's just copy that over. Um, we have r.many.projects table. And yeah, this is project table. Yeah. Hmm collapse let's call this collapse and r dot 
project collaborators table. Um, project collaborators table. And down here, we just have our projects table uh, dot ID. Then group ID, of course, does not exist. So it's just project ID. Yep, I think that's it. Cool. And yeah, we already have this set up. So I think this should be up and running. And now if we, of course, open this, it will break. Yeah, but I think the error is actually something different. Um, because now we need to basically change every query. <laughs> so first of all, we're going to do... First of all, we're gonna change this order by, and this should be ascending, no, date, and then ascending. Okay, that was easy. Um, so I'm gonna comment this out and make an object here. Uh, where we just wanna have LD. Okay, so what we need to do here is date, and then we open a new object, and then we do LT and dejs um dot end of date and then dot to date like this and this should work okay now then we also need um user id user dot id nice and completed is false. Um, nice. So we have these added away. And this is just, this is very simple. We just have where and then user ID is user ID. And this as well. So we're just going to copy that over. And here as well. Yep. Um, yeah, we got a bunch of other. Okay where id form the data the id and user id is user id okay nice and yeah you can see we basically do the same procedure like through all of the other things and i guess like the main page is already working or should be already working normally Oh, okay, we need to remove all of these. Oh, um, yeah. Kind of stupid from my side here. Yeah. <laughs> I take the L in this case. Okay. Yeah, that was my fault, really. So, quick nef from the future here. Um, what I actually forgot to show you is that in our auth object or in our auth file, uh, you actually need to go ahead and import your schema because since before we had this db op directly in our drizzle adapter in better off we also had the schema already integrated in the in this file here so yeah before we had like the schema where is it we had the schema like in in the in the db object right in there but now since we are actually only having the relation in here we need to go ahead and pass in the schema and we're just importing like before like import everything as schema from db slash schema and um, then it will work properly and then you just go ahead and do this so yeah works fine with better auth as well i've tried it out yeah i guess all of these don't work because um i need to update all queries but um yeah like i'm gonna do this off cam because it kind of gets repetitive but yeah, it's very nice what we now are able to do uh, with this new query API. I really love it. Drizzle uh, team, you cooked. Um, you cooked very hard on this. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for this to be like uh, production. Let me know if you want to use it. Um, what do you think of it? So yeah, write down in the comment section. I will be very interested in what you think about this. And yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and like this video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.